Yo guys, what's up? Back here with my boy Jono and we're going to Rincon Falls today. So where we are right now, I just want to show you very quick because we're about to drive in a little bit more. But I was told, as you can see here, there's a sign saying Big O's Ranch. And you see this house and stuff here? Now, many people will park here and then do the rest of the walk from here. I'll show you where they park. But right beyond this, as you can see here, there's a left hand turn. And I believe you can actually drive in a little further, although the parking is not as secured. So John and I are going to drive in a little further. But if you are coming to Rincon, often you can park around by this house here or a little further up by that truck and start the hike from there. And I think people kind of keep an eye on your car and that kind of thing. So you have two choices. Just know that if you do drive a little further, you may be parking at your own risk. John, how are you feeling there? Good, good. How good? Very good? Very good. Let's very, go. Very, very good. Let's go. So John, oh, by the way, let me just say it one time. We're going to be turning left after the spot and John was the one who insisted that this is the correct way. <laughs> if it's incorrect, we know who to blame, right? Always blame John. Well, we will always blame John. -O. Okay guys, we've taken the left and this is precisely why you might want to park up where we suggested. Um, you're passing through, not a deep river, but a car can't really pass through here. Um, I would suggest a 4x4 for sure. Lux power baby! How are the neighbors? <laughs> All right guys, so we're approaching river number two that we'll have to cross through. Alan has sent me out to scout it out so he wouldn't damage his precious van because clearly I'm less important. It seems good. Let's take a look. Beautiful river. All right, it's good to go. Alan, wait! So after river number two, there's an incline that we just came up. Um, then there's a fork in the road, and I believe we are going left. I haven't been to Rincon in a couple years. I hope I'm right. So this is the fork in the road. We are going left, not right. Hope I'm right again. Alright everyone, so we are the start of where we are parking to head to Rincon today. Now, most people should park a lot further back because only uh, 4x4 can really make it this far. Don't try and come here with a car now because you're a guest stick. But anyway, I hear my boy, what's your name sir? Sasha Marley. Sasha? Yeah. Yeah. So Sasha is a gentleman living by this house where we park. We'll show you a little view of it on the way out. And um, tell right. us just how much is it that you charge to park here, you keep the car safe and that kind of thing. Right, so first of all, my name is Sasha Marley. Okay. We clean the trail, we pick up the garbage and so. Okay. So we provide safe parking at $40 per vehicle. $40 per vehicle. We have places in the back where you can entertain yourself also. Okay. And then you get nice organic fruits and vegetables of the land. 
Nice organic fruits. Good so prices. Like you get coconuts. Coconuts. You get bananas. Bananas. This is chiquito fig. Chiquito fig. Right, you get the plantain. Plantain. So you, right. have, you have plenty of things. Yeah, we have a lot of things to offer. Okay. You know what I mean? And it's nice to see people like yourself coming up here to enjoy what we have here now. Of course, well, you live in a paradise, right? Right. So tell people, look for you. Yeah, man. So you can look us up when you come here and ask for Vanessa or you ask for myself, Sasha Mali, or you have the kids up there. And everybody will provide a little small service to keep you comfortable of to course, come back again. Of course, of course. Very you know fair, I mean? very, very fair pricing. Yeah, and one other thing before we go, tell people how you feel about people who's littering in waterfalls and on trails and kind of thing. Well, basically, me can't really do nothing about it personally. Yeah. But I would I like to educate the general public to, you know, is what they eat and how you live out your surroundings. So you need to pay attention to the nature mm -hmm. to keep it that way. So we children, or the future, they come to enjoy it too now. Exactly. So right? keep a clean scene, is but what the man saying, yeah, live man. a nice natural life. Brilliant. Lessons or other? So you have to taste one of this now? Alright, I'm going to taste one. Come on. The father hand. Okay, no, no, <laughs> just the camera, okay. I'll take one, you <laughs> film with you film the phone. Sorry, sorry. I didn't open this in the phone now. Alright, so we're going to eat a little thing on it now. Where's the man donating? Um, Figs to Trini Server there, I appreciate it big time. Well, only I just saw on camera too that only coming back to help plant back some plants. No good! Don't you know? I don't mind. I'm catch any deal, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Blessings, my brother. Thank you very, very much. We get through. Yes, we get through, we get through. Right, plenty of sustenance for the hike. Alright guys, so just a quick word from our sponsors. So everybody, please check out my boy Jose here. He has a fantastic YouTube channel as well as Instagram. And they specialize in repairs and servicing of hybrid vehicles. He's a true expert and I highly recommend you follow and subscribe to his page. Big up and thank you again, Jose. And we're back. Me and John have plenty of figs. We're ready to go on a mission. It should take about 50 minutes to get to the waterfall one way. So let's find out. Come along, let me head out and do it now. Hi guys, so we're heading out on the hike now, but I just want to show you the house where you could park. Right here, you see a Jimny sometimes outside, but this is the main greenhouse. And we have a little friend here. What's your name, miss? Natasha Charles. Natasha Charles? Yes. My name is Alan Charles. That's my very cousin. cool. We have, yeah, you must be my cousin. <laughs> and who's your partner in the back there? Come, come out the window, stick your head out the window. Let me see your twin brother. Your twin brother? Yes. What? Well, everybody, just say it for me. Hi, everybody on Trini Surfer. Hi everybody, I'm Trini Silva. And you can say hello to yourself because you will see yourself on Sunday. Hello. <laughs> hello. Alright, so you're going to be on TV. I'll see you all soon. Thank you very much. We'll see you when we come back. Okay. Bye. Bye. You know, we always have all our furry animal friends tag along on the mission. You good? You coming with us? And today we have a new friend who seems, uh, I don't know if they're going to come all the way, but Mr. Duck. You coming with us or Nah, like you ain't coming. Like the dog don't want to come. That's alright, the dog can stay here and line with the partners. John are packing up his bag. And we heading out. Again, we were told maybe 45 to an hour each way. So let's find out how that goes. So we're about two minutes into the hike right now. Fairly straightforward. Just be very mindful when you're walking downhill. It can be a little slippery, especially if it's rained the day before or even on the day itself not real difficult but a little bit of a slant and the, the rock is kind of like clay so it's a bit slidey so take your time all right everyone so just literally four minutes after where we just parked which is kind of a signaling of the starting point of the hike you can see behind john away in front of john for that matter a gate that's open now you, you, this is private land i believe but you don't want to be driving anywhere past where we just parked as i told you stop there for the furthest and even further back for some people unfortunately with cars but this is the entrance and it's a steady uphill so we go in and of course we'll show you as we go how are you feeling so far good ready good. to go it was cool meeting those little kids eh? yeah yeah two cute twins yes two I always new wanted, supporters two new supporters <laughs> and two new I always wanted a twin when I was growing up and it may be too late for me to have a twin brother now, but I could still dream. You could be cloned. I could be cloned. Yeah. Next, Trini Silver clones, you know? We could have like a million of me and John running around them. Oh Lord. Yeah. Trouble. Trouble. Pressure. There we go. <laughs> Don't worry, you look weird when you're talking to a camera. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, so we barely made it 15 minutes, but we stopped a bounce of a man from a school days here. Basil, how are you going? What's up? What's Say up? hello. 
Hej, 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 And introduce Hello, yourself, Miss. I am Brittany. And what are you to Basil? I'm his girlfriend. What? You let a man get a girlfriend? <laughs> Wheeze. And what's Mr. Dog's name? This is Skip. Skip. Yes, this mm. is our baby. Guard dog for Rincon. Guard dog for Rincon. Oh, yeah, watch out and be wary, vicious guard dog. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's nice to see you. Yeah, man. Nice to see nice you. Nice to see you Fast too. Box. Skip, we go see you soon. Nice to meet you. So we're now leaving our next, the next partner bounce up there. They gave me a walkie talkie. Uh, so some of the people you bounce up where you can park your cars or you talk to here, they actually offer walkie talkies for um, hikers going in in case you get lost or you get in trouble. So we're actually testing the range of this one today to make sure they can actually hear us from the waterfall itself. Hi right, guys, so about 15 minutes in, I roast because I'm very unfit, a good bit of uphill so far but we move in, again just be very careful, see there's a lot of uphill and mud, can become very slippery, so take your time. So we've reached a little fork in the road, now people have told us um, about coming up here, there is one or two little turn offs that can be deceptive, but the information we are given is that pretty much when you're heading upwards, stick to going up and right, and on the way back make sure you stick to your left i will confirm that though but anyway we are heading up you see john behind me there i'll show you now these markers on the trees so as you can see here there's left and then there's right which is another ridiculous steep uphill but i'm seeing another marker here and i'm seeing a marker on this tree over here so it's telling me that we should probably continue uphill and what we already told to that you kind of keep going up and up and up for 45 minutes and then you eventually make a turn off so it's probably too early as we're about 20 minutes into the hike so up we go Jono let's do it all right we just reached another fork and I'm seeing markers on the left hand side blue markers so we're gonna go left with Alan right now that's how it looks this is how the trail looks coming up so guys, very important as we keep going along, the trail can be a little confusing. So just keep following markers. They're all over the place in the form of fabric and colorful ties. So that's a good way to gauge that you're actually on the right track. Alan, how is it sounding so hard for you to talk about now? I think I might have COVID, dog. Hi right, guys, so after about 25 minutes of uphill, we finally reached some flats and we're recharging. It's pretty intense, the uphill was pretty intense. Alan, how are you feeling right now? I, I gotta keep it real, real, real alright. <laughs> uh, my fitness level is low by my standards personally, but I'm trying to use it as a gauge for everybody who might be watching out there. It's doable, but this to me feeling like about a 7 or 8 out of 10 hike right now in terms of effort, just because there was so much uphill. I was actually feeling a little short breathing. Now, I'm not really as fit as I should be right now. So think about it as a man who's a very average level of fitness. Like, you know, you can handle normal things. You could do it, but prepare for some licks. And yeah, I, I stopped like two or three times for like a 20 seconds to take a breath and go again, drink some water, which is not normally what I would do on these hikes. So the uphill part is difficult, is what I'm saying. We're on a flat now, hopefully. There's some more downhill from here. And yeah, cool off in that waterfall. Let me move. Another marker there. Watch your head. <laughs> Steady downhill from the last marker we just showed you all. Just make sure to watch your step. There's a lot of loose rocks and a lot of mud. So just take your time and make it down. Alright guys, so now we're watching Alan come down. So all this downhill means we're gonna have to come back up this way coming back out so we're gonna definitely be roast coming out of this place roasted this hike I'm, i know the waterfall is gonna be like real amazing but prepare for some licks know your levels don't be afraid to take breaks because you'd rather be safe than sorry out there but cool so far so let me move red crab 
Um, you probably let you guys know so we walk along our path here. It's cool, but it's a little thin. Just take your time because it is a little slippery as we go along this ridge over here. That's baby Rencon on the way to Rencon. Keep going this way. John. Hi guys, so a little part where you need to climb down as we're crossing. So John is going to show us that right now and there's actually a big crab down there. You won't be able to see it from here but we'll try and film it when we get on. So just take your time when you're getting down guys. Is that live? I don't know. So yeah, so man, it's done, you know? Mr. Yeah, Crab! Yeah. Perhaps one of the most challenging parts of the hikes, granted, the uphill really take me out. It's hard to see how steep this it really is on video. But there's some ropes going down here, and it's almost like a 70 degree angle going down. So you really have to climb down this rope. Take your time, move it real slow. I'm going to be taking my time as well. But yeah, it looks like a little bit of effort is required here. So we're going to go with that and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Don't die, Alan! Alright guys, so we're nearly to the waterfall. That was a quite a descent coming down that rope, eh? no joke. And John was making the final part now. Slippery. Slippery, a little bit slippery, yeah? Really slippery. Yeah, boy. We're almost there. We can see water any distance. So we were warned about a little ledge where the possibility of slipping off is very high. Um, so you just want to stay to your right. When you reach this spot, I'll show you what it looks like. Right here. It's a very thin path. All right, and as you can see, the rope is full of ants. So we're not going to use your rope. We're just gonna stay on that little ledge and be careful, work your way through. Alright guys, so we're now reaching a little rock ledge. Um, I advise all of y'all to be careful. Don't be afraid to get on all fours because if you slip, there's nothing to catch you. Let me show y'all what it looks like. And that's the drop. Nothing to hold on to. Guys, we have arrived at the amazing Rincon Falls. Check it out. Do you know what you think there, boy? So much space too, you know? A lot of logs have fallen since last time I saw it. It's truly majestic. Hi guys, so the place is amazing, like incredible. I'm gonna try and fly the drone, I don't know if it's possible. Uh, John is gonna give us a little tour how to get down. And we're both going to end up taking a swim. This is a big, beautiful waterfall with a big, beautiful pool. And we'll let you know how deep it is and that kind of stuff as well, too. Good to go? Good to go. Alright, guys, so we're at the beautiful Rincon Waterfalls. There's two ways to get down. You could either take the right side, which is right here, or you could take the left side, which is when you climb up onto the rock. Have this little path going down. Obviously, if you're taking the left side, just take your time, but they do have a little space to like put your bags and everything. Um, and I think that's where I would opt to go, put on my stuff before I hit the water. Little skid there. The views, the views. 
All right, I'm gonna give you all a little view of the right side now. It's a little sketchy to get down as well. So just take your time. Don't be afraid to go on all fours. Almost bust my tail again. So when you climb down from where we were, which is right here, you come down in this lower spot. And there's a nice little fall that goes downwards here. All the way over there. But that's a very sharp cliff drop off. Don't go too close to that edge down there. Stay by the main pool where Jordo is right here. And that's the safest spot to swim. Sorry. You will see too that um, the pool has a very shallow area but also some deep spots. So non-swimmers be very careful where you choose to go. You can see here shallow where it's kind of lit up. But over here where it's dark water it's quite deep. At least seven feet or so, so you could go under. Be very, very careful, guys. This waterfall is mad refreshing, not gonna lie. After all that effort in the hike, real worth it. Big, nice pool, big falls. You wanna take this off? Well everybody, I hope you enjoyed this tour to the beautiful Rincon Falls. I'm sorry I couldn't fly the drone, I just couldn't get a reception to do it, but nonetheless, the beauty was captured. Highly recommended. For an average fitness person, I would say about an 8 out of 10 difficulty. Uphill, climbs, downhills, definitely need a little bit of experience and stamina to do this. How do you feel? It was pretty challenging, but nothing that you can do. Nothing you can do? Yeah. And it was very clean. Yeah, it was very clean. Yeah. I don't think we saw a single piece of garbage here. Please keep it that way. That would be very kind of you. But bring your team, organize a guide, pay to park. Definitely do your research before coming here and take your time. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, and of course, big up to our sponsor. Check them out. Hit like on the YouTube channel. Support all the local um, content creators. You know, we're out there trying to bring Trinidad to the world. So yeah, have a great week, everybody. Peace out. Big up. Don't know? Get out and explore.